Welcome to another week with the um, 2B Honey and the 2B Honey Hive Hotel. This week we're going to be looking at the uh, splits that we did last week. If you remember we divided them from the bottom to the top. So what we're going to be looking at this week is how they're doing to make sure the ones on top are doing well. See if we have queens in both of them, honey and brood in both the top and bottom. If that worked, then we went from uh, two hives, splitting it up to four hives. Okay, so we'll check on that. I'm also going to check on the Langstroth just to see how we're doing with time with that. And don't forget about the 2B Honey Fact of the Week. Last week we talked about drones, so this week we're going to be talking about queens. What is a queen and what is her job in the hive? That'll be at the end of the blog, so watch the whole thing and um, I'll see you in just a minute. All right. What we did, we can see that they're doing well up here. They're doing well down here. You can see that I separated the honey frames on this side, the brood frames on this side. And we have some empty ones in the middle so they can create more frames going down so the queen can keep working her way over. So we're going to work with that and we're going to see how that works out. Okay, so we'll keep this going and we'll see how it works. Okay, and now we're going to look at the Russian side to see how well they're doing. Hopefully the Russian bees are also adjusting to the new apartment and adjusting to how things are going. If we look down right here, you can see how they're really just still starting on there, starting with the honey and other things moving on. All right, let me pull out a couple frames and we'll see what it looks like. honey you can see they're still working on the honey frames coming in Let's see what we've got on this one. here's a brood hopefully yup that's the brood where you can see those are egg cells so this is still the queen is still laying eggs Still going well with that. See this side. See? Shows you that she's still working. Okay. So we like that in there. Let's see. Look at that. Lots of eggs. You really can't see inside there too much, but there's a lot of a uh, lot of activity on this frame. A lot of activity on both sides. A lot of eggs and oh my goodness, the eggs are developing so well. Come here and look. See if you can get inside there where those little white, in here where the white is. Can you see that? Yep, it's coming through. Right. That's the larva, okay? So the larva from there where the queen laid the eggs, and now the eggs are developing. Um, and they're going to keep feeding them. And we're going to talk about workers in a little bit, the nurse bees. And this is what they're doing now. So we're creating a whole new hive right here as these... Uh, um, Keep growing. Okay, let me put this one back. And here is the last little piece. Okay, very good. So the important thing, the important thing is that they are still doing well right 
The important thing is that the bees are acclimating to the new apartment. And the important thing is that the queen is still laying eggs. So if the queen's laying eggs here and down here, that means we actually have divided this. We're going to check the bottom in a minute. Let me put these frames back in first. Okay, now let's see with the bottom how we're doing down here. Looks like we have a lot of action, a lot of busy stuff going on down here. So I'm going to take off a couple frames on this side, and then we'll be able to slide the rest over. Okay? There we go. It's all right. Slide it over. We have. A little bit that we're looking you can see where the bees just they're just starting oh see that's a sweet little just on a right little there. tiny bit they're starting mm -hmm. there okay and now as we keep moving down the row you'll see that it gets a little bit bigger every time See, I don't want to knock that because that those are bees hanging down. But you'll see with this right here with the honey. This is mm. some nice honey that's going down here. And I want to show you where. Let me get this. Whoops. There you go. Over here we have. I'm going to show you some queen cells. Normally, beekeepers don't like queen cells. But right now, I do like them. And I'm going to tell you why. Bring the camera down so we can see right here. See that? There's a queen cell there. There's one over here. And there's another one over here. So the, queen, the reason why I'm happy with these queen cells, what did I do with the queen last week? I brought the queen upstairs. So there's no queen down here, and they actually have to make a new queen. So when they have to make a new queen, what they do is they take a cell of a regular egg and they have to turn it into a queen. The way you turn a regular cell into a queen cell is by giving it extra uh, royal jelly. I'm going to take this out. Let me just see because it's so heavy. I want wow. to be very, very careful. careful. Okay, can you see this? Wow. Okay, that's a full frame right there with the queen cells on the end. I'm very gently going to put it back. Okay. Now we're going to the next one. As I was saying, the by giving it extra royal jelly, every bee is a female, but some... If you keep feeding them and keep feeding them, then they turn into queens. And that's a special thing that they decide to do when they realize that there's no queen in the cell right now, in the hive. If there's no queen in the hive, they will make one. And how do they know there's no queen in the hive? Oops, sorry. How do they know there's no queen in the hive? The queen gives off a pheromone, which is a smell. So the other bees, if they don't smell a queen, They'll make a new queen. Let's see what I've got in this one. Oh, that's a full one too, isn't it? Slide this over. Over here. We have a couple more queen cells. And remember I said I'm not worried about the queen cells right now? Queen cells are what I want. The queen cells help the hive survive. How do they help the hive survive? Because you have to have a queen. Ah, so they have to make, well, you can edit that out. It was a stupid question. See, this okay. one, there's a lot of honey going on there. 
See all that honey? You have brood and honey. So as the brood hatches from here, they're refilling the frames with honey. So this is going to be a big, full honey frame. And we have extra frames here with just honey in them. So we're doing fine with everything. Slide these over. Okay. So everybody's doing well. We have brood, we have honey, and we have queen cells. It looks like everyone is doing really well. Everyone's really happy. And whoop. we have a successful move to a new apartment. So the queen up here is doing well. The um, bees down here are making a new queen. And everybody is doing their job. Okay. Okay, so now we're wrapping this up. If you look over here at the Langstroff hives, they're also doing well. You can see that I put another honey super on top. The honey super means now we have two boxes that are collecting honey, two boxes for the uh, brood, for the bees. So the queen is down here, and we have two more coming up here to, uh, to help them expand with the honey on this one. They all don't have it. This one still has one. Over there, we have that one right there. He has two, and the other one there has one. So all the hives with language, just like these hives, the bees expand at their own pace. So everybody's going at their own pace. These are doing really well. Um, okay, and now, ready? Let's get ready for the 2B Honey Fact of the Week. If you remember last week we talked about drones, and I said this week we talk about queens. What is a queen and what's her job? Every bee in a hive, except the drones, every working bee in a hive is a female. So why is the queen special? What makes a bee a queen rather than just a regular worker bee? She likes a lot of attention. The answer <laughs> is that the... Uh, she gets it. <laughs> the queen actually does not get a lot of attention oh, unless sorry. she's being with the drones. Sorry. The queen, <laughs> when she's being formed, gets more uh, royal jelly. So when they feed, they feed the eggs that are in those little frames. Each little one there, they feed those. Bees come over and they feed them. At a certain point, they stop feeding them. If they continue to feed them, they become a queen. Why would they make them a queen? Let me tell you. As I showed you in here, if the queen is gone, if they don't smell the queen anymore, if they don't know she's there, they'll make a new queen. Automatically, they'll make a new queen. If the queen is getting old and she doesn't have enough pheromone, pheromone means smell, they'll make a new queen. And then once the new queen comes out, there could only be one, all those uh, uh, queen cells, they will all fight and only one will survive. And that one who survives, she will go out, she'll mate with the drones, and then she'll start laying eggs for the next generation of bees. And uh, that's what the queen bee is, and that's what the queen bee's job is. She's kind of like a superhero. She's a regular bee, but she has more nutrients in her, which makes her a superhero. <laughs> super, so, super power. She, she has, her superpower is that she can lay fertile eggs. So remember, all bees are females, except for the drones. All working bees are females. But the queen bee is special because she has the ability to lay fertile eggs. And that's what she does for her entire life. That's it. Thanks, and uh, we'll see you next week.